Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome. How's everyone doing today? Making sure that we are alive. Make sure that you are in live chat and not top chat. And if you are watching, um, welcome. It is a live sale with myself, Carolina Princess, Sweet Treats and Pretties, and Miss Joanne, this way, from a work in progress. <laughs> so if you Hi, are, everyone. If you're in the chat, make sure that you say hello. Hello, Leanne. Thank you for um, coming by today. Uh, make sure that, again, that you're in live chat and not top chat, and make sure that you are giving us a thumbs up. Hey, Beth from Dragonfly Attic. Thank you so much for coming. Joanne just had a downpour of rain and in North Carolina. And here in yes, Texas. we did. Uh, on and off. All day. All right. Um, hi, I heart old things. Now, I used to remember your name and I cannot. So if you would not mind, put it in the chat for me because I cannot remember. Hi, Miss Mary. Oh, we got a visitor from Australia. Is it Ooh. is it Kane? K A Y N E or put it in. Uh, my good friend Dragonfly Attic put me onto your channel. Well, thank you so much and welcome. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Lisa. Hey, Crystal. Lisa. Yep. Hi, D from the Southern Vintage Picker. Man, she finds the. If you haven't watched Dee's channel, I'm just gonna say this real quick: that um, she picks up just random things, and you're thinking, "Why did she pick that up?" And it is like really important. <laughs> you just think, oh, I just picked this up, and she takes the chances on things that turn out to be really great. So, wow. um, let's see, Michelle Lee, thank you so much, Michelle, for your email today. I'm glad that you could um, let me know that you were gonna here today and Miss Sue and Catherine um, oh from California Becky is here and my stepmom Vicki is here Lorraine is here no Lorraine I think it's Lorraine I say Lorraine every time <laughs> I think it is I think I've I think said it Lorraine. yeah and Sonia and Annette and my dad is here and um, is it Lena? Lena Ray? Lena! Yes, it is Lena. <laughs> Hi, Lena. Hey, Stephanie from Thrifting Adventures. Make sure that y'all are giving a thumbs up. Um, yeah, she says, Dee says most of the time she even surprises herself, but I just get blown away. Well, I don't know much about like um, band t shirts. She finds oh, them. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. She's a great garage sailor, and I want Ooh. to be her garage sailor. I'm not a very good garage sailor. I get to talking to the people and get what I'm there for. <laughs> Stephanie says she's blazing hot in Washington. Oh. Uh, Hi, Canada. Somebody said today that Canada was hotter right now than, than California. Wow. And I know those people in... Um, what is it? Arizona? I know, like Kathy from Picasso Cat. It was like 119 degrees. I was oh like, my goodness. No. <laughs> All right. And Grace 2010. Is that De Deanna? Dana. Dana. Okay. Dana. Dana, I believe. I'm going to, I I <laughs> practice. I have a list. I try to remember. And when it's right in front of me, I forget every single time. <laughs> Uh, the pressure. It's the pressure. Stephanie says it's 114 right now, and she's in Washington, right? Whoa. Yeah. Uh-uh. Dana. Wow. Yes. That's crazy. She said, and Dee says it's actually hotter in western Washington than it is in central Texas. Wow. Oh, it actually, I cannot complain because we've had rain and I'm right outside of Houston um, and it is a little bit cooler. So, mm -hmm. hey, Gino, thank you for coming. Um, so today is a live sale. Um, so Hi, Gino. To have Joanne back with um, me. That was really fun. So we decided to try it again. You'll have to yep. let us know 
um, in the comments of this video after the video is over. There's a comment section like a regular YouTube video. Let us know if um, you like this combination because that's how we determined um, what people like. And if you like this kind of item, the items that we have, or if you have an idea for other items for us, then we definitely want to hear that from you. 90 degrees, Ontario, Canada. I'm sure. <laughs> I don't really think that y'all are used to that, are you? I mean, I could be wrong. I've not been to Canada, but I wouldn't think that. Um, oh, yeah, the weather is insane. I know that ours is coming. <laughs> I know ours is coming. Um, so our live sale today, we each have 15 items. Uh, we are going to do three rounds of five items each. Uh, Joanne will be going first. She will show you five items. Um, each item will be described to you. If we know of any imperfections, we will let you know um, of that. Otherwise, there are no chips or cracks, which you'll probably hear us saying. Uh, but I will let you know, and so will Joanne, if there's any imperfections. We'll try to give you measurements. Um, if, if we don't, please ask us in the chat. Um, I am shipping out of Houston, the closest big city. Um, and Joanne is out of like the Raleigh. Raleigh. Okay. Yeah, Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, and so just remember that if you buy from both of us, you will get two different invoices because, of course, we can't combine all of your things. We would have put in the same box. If you buy multiple items from one of us, if you buy multiples from me, then all of your items will be packaged in one box. Um, that box, and same for Joanne, she will package all of your items in one box. Um, as long as it will go in one box. <laughs> and sometimes I will say if I have really an odd item that might can go media mail, it would make the box bigger. I will choose to do it separately, but I'll contact you first and say, hey, this can go media mail and then this would be a smaller box. I have done that several times for people um, and it actually ends up being cheaper than the bigger box. Um, but we will combine everything. I use Pirate Ship. What do you use, Joanne? Same. Yep. So we both use Pirate Ship. So the way that that works is we don't guess. We take your items. We package them with love and care with bubble wrap and paper and make them look pretty. We put them all in a box that will keep them safe through their travels. Um, and we make sure it's packaged well, tape it up. We put in the weight um, and the in pounds and ounces into Pirate Ship. And the measurements of the box with your address on there. And it tells us exactly how much it's going to charge us to ship um, on the days. So I do not do any type of calculated or guess estimate. It, with Pirate Ship, it takes all the guessing out of that. Um, and it, I usually use the most, the least expensive, the least, the cheapest way yeah. <laughs> to send it. Now, if it's a difference of, of less than a dollar, I usually send it the um, the priority simply because you have the tracking and it's it's kind of going to get there a little bit sooner. Um, otherwise, I will put it in the shipping. You will get an invoice with PayPal that says these are your items and each item and how much it is. And then the shipping um, is on there for you as well. Um, and so Joanne and I were just making sure that we were on the same page and um, we are going to close out tonight. Both of us are pretty fast, right? With um, the invoicing, you usually get yours done the very next day, right? Uh, well, I, I was when I was not working. Um, things are a little bit slower now, like I will be working tomorrow. So okay. it might be a a day or two at the very latest that you would be getting an invoice from me um, through PayPal. What I like to say is eBay gives you three day turnaround. Um, and so I like to use that same because one, um, if you claim an item tonight uh, and you will claim that by giving us the number in the chat of that item, if you claim an item tonight and you um, do get the opportunity to purchase that, then you will need to send whoever you buy from, your first and last name that you go by for legal mail, your complete mailing address, including the zip code, and your PayPal email. PayPal is the only form of payment that I take. Uh, Joanne? Yes. Mm -hmm. PayPal. So it'll yep. be a 
a PayPal email. Uh, once the, the items are packaged up, we will send you an invoice through your email um, through pay PayPal. And um, we give, we, I would like to have that information as soon as possible. So I don't require that you pre-register. Um, I'm going to trust everybody. So pre-register. If I have information, Joanne, if you have their information, they don't need to send it again. Is that correct? No. Yeah. If, I, if you've purchased from me before, chances are I do have your information because I do try to save that. Yeah, and it saves in um, pirate ship. So oh, that's right. Yeah, you're, you're right. It does. Mm -hmm. So unless you have moved now, if you've moved or something. Yeah. You no. Know, um, hey, Jamie, with Mid Century Wasted, uh, she was just live not long ago. And Shelly, how how are you? Thank you for coming. Um, so we are going to ask that you send that information as soon as you have to leave the sale, or at the end of the sale, just send us your first and last name, your complete mailing address, and your PayPal information. If you can remember what you got, that's great. If not, we're both keeping written records, right? Mm -hmm. yep. and, um, we also have the chat to go back and check. Yep. Um, and so if we do not hear from you, um, if there's a problem, just kind of let us know. Who are you? Who is it? Kathy Beck. Kathy. <laughs> I saw her pop up. Hey, Kathy. <laughs> Um, if we don't, if there's a problem, let us know, like if something came up, you need to wait until Friday, you know, the dog got sick things happen, <laughs> and we understand that. So just let us know, um, but make sure that we get an email and then we'll invoice you. And then I give you 48 hours to pay your invoice and I send you a reminder. And then after two hours, if I haven't heard something from you, then that will be returned to, um, inventory. Okay, so that's all the yuck stuff, but it's fun stuff. We've got some cool things tonight, and I'm actually going to send, I'm going to let her go big screen. Oh, so uh oh. I'm going to let you go big screen since you're going first. All right, okay, big screen. All right, I'm going to start out with a piece of Tanala pottery. This is actually the very first piece that I ever found. I was so excited down in Florida visiting a friend and just glanced at the shells and here this little guy was in all of his glory. He's absolutely oh. beautiful. First piece I've ever found. There is his bottom. Well, it's underneath. That's not his bottom. Uh, let me see. He does have some crazing on him. And he is approximately five and a quarter inches long, about five and a quarter inches tall, and four inches wide. But he doesn't have any chips or dings, just that wonderful crazing. So this little guy, I'm trying out a new method here, so bear with me, okay, on, on how to showing you the prices and such. So this little guy, whoop, there we go, is going to be $14, and he is number nine. We're, Whoop, there we go. <laughs> You'll get it. It's easier. I, I know. It's so weird. It's been backwards or something. So $14, number nine for the Tanala Pottery Duck. And I see Leanne has picked up number nine. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Leanne. Put him over there. And I'm not going in any kind of specific order here. The next thing that I have for you, I actually showed yesterday in my haul video, and I decided to try and see if anybody might be interested in it. It's this, it's a very kind of muted orange um, woven basket. It's in beautiful shape, but look at the beading all the way around the top here. There are no beads that are missing. It's in beautiful condition, absolutely beautiful. Um, and this is about four inches in diameter. And then about two inches tall, no flaws at all on this. And this woven beaded basket is going to be $8 and it is number 20. Maybe a wine bottle holder, someone is saying? I suppose you could put a wine bottle in it, yeah. Or it could be, a, you know, a, a trinket basket. Uh, but I just thought it was really pretty. And I was amazed that the beading was not damaged on it. So again, this is $8, number 20 for the woven beaded basket. And Joanne's channel is, I'm typing it in right now, a work in progress. Yep, that's me. Uh, let me see. Have any 
be a wine bottle holder. You can't go wrong with that, can you? <laughs> no, I guess not, right? <laughs> um, next thing, <clears throat> had this for a while, so I thought I would give it a try on the sale here. I understand this is called a lemon dish. So when you have your fancy tea with your girlfriends, um, you would put your lemon slices on here. There is the back of it. And it is um, Rosetti, hand-painted. It is about six inches in diameter. There are no chips, cracks. The paint is in beautiful condition. There is on the side, where is it now? If I can find it. Oh, right here. You can't see it, but it's a little bit of a rough area. And I'm not sure why it's rough right there. Um, but that's the only, I'll say, imperfection on the dish. It's so again, this is, I'm sorry. It's beautiful. I thought it, I thought it was too. Uh, so again, this is a vintage Rosetti lemon dish, and this is going to be ten dollars. Number two. I like your cards. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I got the idea from you. <laughs> the numbers are big, so it's easy to see. It looks really good. Okay, good, good. So ten dollars. Number two for the Rosetti lemon dish. Oh, let me put it back in there. Um, got a couple of pieces of Avon. And first, I have this little hound dog here. He's a brown color. His body is glass, but his little head is plastic. And he does, where's his Avon? There is his Avon stamp. Let me see. There we go on the bottom. Now, he does have the perfume in it. He might be very, he might be completely full. I'm not sure. Let's see, how big is this guy? He stands about three and a quarter, whoops, three and a quarter inches tall. And this little hound dog is going to be $8, number 21. $8, number 21 for the little Avon hound dog. That's so cute. It reminds me of the, um, just one more, Dachshund rescue that Patrick. Oh from. yeah, either that or a basset. He reminds me of a basset hound because I his body is not quite yeah long for a, a dachshund. We got that guy, and then the next Avon piece I have is for any owl lovers that are out there, and it is this little guy here, and he's kind of a a creamy white color I would say, and again his body is glass and oh. His head is glass, too, I believe. So there he is. And his little Avon stamp on the bottom. I don't know. There we go. And this little guy, he is about three and a quarter inches tall. He's going to be $8, and he is number 32. Everybody loves an owl. Yeah, uh, they're very, they're quite popular. So $8, number 32 for the Avon Owl. And, and I, I think I heart old things picking oh, up. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. I've got your information and I apologize to my brain. I cannot remember your name. I apologize. I think I was looking back to see. I think that was my five. Is that your five? I think that was my thought. Yep. Alrighty. So I'm going to move it over mm -hmm. to me on the big screen. I am, so somehow, I don't know how this happened, but all of my items ended up having some type of like a boho summer picnic kind of vibe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, yes. Bryn. Bryn from Hawaii. Okay. Thank you, Bryn. My first um, item, not vintage, but I just love them, especially since I'm from Texas. It is a new set of Howdy coasters. Oh. And I have taken them out and counted them. They are the hard cardstock um, disposable ones, but it is, they are about four by four. There are 50 of them. There wow. are 50 of these little um, coasters that I thought would be great either for a party or some type of like a rehearsal dinner, or if you just have like a ranch or just a Western theme. Um, but all 50 of them do come in the box. 
There are 50 happy posters for five dollars, number 49. Howdy coasters 50, number 49 for five dollars. All right. The next, it would not be a sale with me without a cookbook. <laughs> I love the cookbooks. This one is from 1960. Um, here is the date right here. And this, I loved the graphics. That's what drew it to me. And this is a Pennsylvania Dutch cooking. But oh. the graphics on this. It is a 1960s cookbook. Recipes for traditional Pennsylvania Dutch uh, dishes. It's going to be $7, but there are different graphics on the back than the front. It is a paperback. It's 48, it has 48 pages. Um, and of course I turn to the sweet treats first, but um, just lots of great, there's cookies and small cakes, um, like a donut coffee cake and rolls. They were a lot of good, like sticky buns and things like mm -hmm. that. Um, vegetable dishes. Um, I learned a lot of different things by reading some of the recipes in here. But again, this is 1960 Pennsylvania Dutch cookbook, and it is seven dollars number sixty-eight. Seven dollars number sixty-eight for the Pennsylvania Dutch cooking cookbook. And the next item I actually found new in box. So I'm gonna show you the box because it does come in the box. It is an art, art mark piece. Um, it is a complete set. And it is a condiment set that even has its spoons. Oh, wow. So um, it kind of matches that Monmouth and um, I think that's the way you say it. And the, the I guess um, those ones that are brown drip glaze, but this is a little condiment set here. And it does have both of its spoons and it does have its original box um, here. I wanna try to do this without, let me take the lids off again. This is what the bottom looks like. It's not marked, but it is an art mark. Um, this one is made in Taiwan. So it was brand new. So for this little condiment dish, I was just more impressed that it had the spoons than anything. Yeah, yeah. It is $12 and it is number 75. $12 number 75 for the condiment set. And let me put it back before I crash it into something <laughs> because I'm famous for that. But I was surprised that it was all new in the box. Mm -hmm. That was a good find. All right. Um, hi, Christine. The next is a piece of jewelry um, because when everybody's going out now, I put it on this white paper but i'll take it back but it's like a little boho style but it's got tur i'm going to show it to you this way first and i think that i've kind of got it taped so it that it um drags but it is a earring and necklace set and i'm going to get it a little bit closer it's got the turquoise in there and those are wooden beads and then a wooden piece on the bottom. So now I will show you the earrings. If you can see that, it has yeah. a little bit of purple. And the earrings from the, the earrings are about an inch and a half. So they hang about an inch and a half. So from here to here. The, this set is going to be $14. The necklace is long. Um, let me show you. It's going to be $14 for the set. So it is relatively long. And I believe I had to use a tape measure for that. It was 15. So it was 15 inches from the clasp 
to the bottom of the wooden piece. And let me show you that up close. Well, you know, they say longer pieces elongate the body. So it actually makes you look thinner with well, longer that's pieces. That's to do. Mm -hmm. I need to have all of those. Now, I like these the best. These little round pieces right here, they're multicolored, very earth tones in that. Hey, Mary Ellen. Um, and so this necklace and earring set is $14, number 46. $14, number 46 for the earrings and the necklace set. All right. Miss Mary is coming in from Wisconsin today. Thank you for watching with us. And our next, my last five piece is I have a single charger, which I, um, this one came from Metro, uh, the Metropolitan, Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. And it is um, a metal charger. I've got some paper on it, but it is a metal charger. And it has some, I had a couple of others of these, but they sold. It's got some fruits and things on the inside. It also has like a butterfly or B, I think it's butterflies around there. Mm -hmm. But I thought it would be great to like serve. Um, and then since you can wash it, that would be really pretty and it as a display. The plate is a little over 10 inches in diameter there. And this is the back stating that it's Metropolitan Museum of Art. It is $6 number. 54. Six the colors dollars. are really vibrant on that. Yeah, the, they are. I just love yeah. I found two other ones with a beautiful blue color. And um, I'm trying to decide what I want to do with those. You know, oh. kind of think, do you keep them? Do you not keep them? So, yeah, yeah. Well, let it go to you. All right. I'm up. Let me see. Oh. Let me share this next piece with you. I I don't know. I was really excited when I found this. It is a turkey, I guess, turkey baster, but it's still in its package. It's Pyrex. It's from 1946, I think it is. So it's still in its package. And it's glass. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's a glass baster here. And believe it or not, the rubber is not cracked or grody or anything. So you could definitely use this. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the Pyrex on there. You might be able to pick it up a little bit. Um, but it's also on the container here as well. But from 1946, I thought that was so cool. I was so excited when I found this. Uh, and this I actually picked up in South Carolina um, when my friend Anna and I did our girls thrift weekend. Oh, yeah. So there's all kinds. Let me see what's on the here. Okay, just tells you um, like important things about it, um, how to use it, yeah, how to uh, baste, how to separate the grease from fats. Um, oh, to skim cream from milk, and it, it shows you how to clean it as well. So it's a wonderful party or bridge gift. So in case you needed a party or a bridge gift, this is the item for you. So again, this is a 1946 Pyrex baster. It's going to be $12 and it's number 29. So $12, whoop, number 29 for the vintage Pyrex glass baster in its package. I see Kathy Beck has picked up. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Hi, Miss Paula. That's a fun piece. I just thought that was so fun. Uh, next thing I have is an adorable little kerosene lantern. Can you see it? There we go. There's the whole thing in its adorable little goodness. Now, it does have some rusting on the top here, and it's got some rusting around here. Um, but this is from the 1960s. So 
it deserves to have some rest on it, I think. And the glass is been- for all seasons. I mean, Fourth oh, of yeah. July, Valentine's Day, Christmas. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. Cool. This can go uh, all through. Um, it's beautiful. very clean. That'd be pretty. Yeah. Um, as I said, the glass is all in intact. And I believe you get to the wick. You pull this up and then, whoops. Oh, so it tips out on my, of course, the opposite side, right? Tips out this way. And then you would light the little wick down in there. Okay. And here is where you would put your um, kerosene or oil in. And then you adjust the wick with that little screw thing there. Uh, did I take measurements on this? Let me see. I did. It is um, seven and a quarter inches tall. Uh, it's made in Japan. It's a winged wheel. Number 350 is the mark that's on it here. And this little guy is going to be $15 and he's number 18. So $15, number 18 for the little uh, 1960s kerosene or oil lantern. And I see Lisa Carl gets number eight. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Hi, Granny's Attic. How are y'all? Let me see. Here we go. I'll have to meet up at the outlet. I can get that to you. Oh, that'll be good. Um, you don't have to ship that glass. <laughs> what, what's that? Yeah, that'll be good if you can meet up and you don't have to ship that glass. Yep. Mm -hmm. And saves on the shipping. I'm all for saving on shipping. I do have one willow tree for you today, and it's this little guy here. So let me show you him here. Oh, you. Hi, Angela Barnesbury. And he has a little balloon that says congratulations on it. Oh, so cute. Yeah. And he has a, oh no, a little, let me see. Uh, I put my goggles on here. Oh, it just has a little um, made in China sticker right there. Uh, but it is a willow tree, and he is, so the, the figurine itself is about three and a half inches tall, but then when you um, add the balloon, the balloon is a number, another uh, three and a quarter, so he's um, over six inches tall, complete. This would be great for a new baby or um, graduation, a, a little, just a little tiny wedding gift, you know, that you might want to pop in with a, another gift. So I've got him for you here, and he is going to be $10, number 27. $10, number 27 for the congrats little willow tree figurine. Too cute. Okay. Uh, let me see. What shall we do next? Let's try this. You had a lot of kind of boho things. I, I didn't do this deliberately, but I do have several kitchen kind of related items. So the next thing I have to show you is this oil potter. I've never seen one before. <laughs> I tried doing some research on them. I really couldn't find a whole lot about it. Um, you can see there on the side where it does say oil potter. It's got a few little, um, they're not dings, but a little like paint scratches, I would say. So you've got your handles here in the back. and then. The lid comes off, and you have your strainer there for your oil. Oil goes in here. It's quite clean. I mean, all things considered, I think it's quite clean. That is. And then you would. What? I'm sorry. You, you. I lost you there for a second. Back. I said that is super cool. That is really. Yeah. Cool. yeah, I thought it was too. And then you would just pour pour your oil out. Um, the lid has one little ding in it right there. I don't know what happened to it there, but in its life, <laughs> it had a little ding on it. Where, where did I put my, uh-oh, where's the card for it? Dang it. Okay, I can't find my card for it, but I can tell you, where is it? Here we go. Um, it is going to be $12 and it's number one. $12, number one. And it is about five and three quarter inches tall, uh, about five and a three quarter inches long, and then about four and a quarter inches wide. 
and I did clean it off and it's got a little still bit a, a little bit of still sticky residue on it. Um just to let you know. I see Leanne. Oh wonderful. Thank you, Leanne. See say. I say that wrong every time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but she claimed the really cool grease thing. <laughs> I really like the whole lot. <laughs> Okay, I got you, Leanne. Thank you. One of those. That was really cool. Uh, next thing I have is a little vintage recipe box. Love the colors on this thing. Yeah. And it is in really good condition. So I love the yellow on it with the red floral. Really pretty. Clean inside, clean out. I don't even think it has any dings on it. I do not see any dings on this at all. No color loss on it. Uh, let me see if I took it. Got some measurements for you. It's about five and a quarter inches wide, like this way. And then three and a quarter deep and two and a half tall. So it's your standard recipe box. Um, and this is going to be $8, number 17. $8, number 17 for the vintage recipe box uh, I lost count how many was that Beth do you remember Paula Smith has picked up number 17 oh wonderful thank you Paula um I remember the little boy the grease okay. and, uh, grease <laughs> the recipe no, the lantern yeah okay I think I'm, so I've got one more to go uh, let me put down Paula's name here. Okay, I will put that aside for you, Paula. And Lisa, uh, man, you can deliver that to me and I'll get it to Paula. Oh, wonderful. Okay. <laughs> then the last thing that I have, I showed this on my sneak peek uh, yesterday uh, when I did my Sunday weekly Sunday thrift haul video. Is this absolutely beautiful you could a paperweight or a decor piece it's two birds um sitting on what appears to me to be a heart and it's called the blue bird of happiness stamp is on the bottom but as you can see it is pretty worn off and it is signed um by leonard 1989 and I guess the gentleman's name is Leo Ward that actually did these pieces. It's It's got some good weight to it. So it definitely could be a paperweight if that's what you wanted. Uh, let me see. Where are my measurements on this? And Lori and uh, Lori Ann Sugarbird, uh, those sell for a lot, those double oh. ones. Well, then you're getting a really good deal tonight. <laughs> let me find him. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, uh, here we are. Yep. Uh, 1980, like I said, 1989 vintage signed uh, Bluebird of Happiness. And he is going to be, I did not take measurements. If anybody needs measurements on him, let me know though. But he's going to be $12, number seven. So $12, number seven. That is a for, good one. Yeah. For the Bluebird of Happiness. Blue should be blue birds. There are two of them, but the blue bird of happiness, that's what they call them. And I see the sniper blue flamingo mercantile coming. Oh, out. thank you. Thank you. That one was very, very popular. They must know something we don't. <laughs> no, the, no, they know something. I, yeah, I did look him up. <laughs> so you did get a really good deal on him, but I'm glad. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we've seen a lot of those in live sales. I've never found one. I've not even found a uh, just a single a bluebird, um, the one that is signed. So to get a double one, that, that is good. Well, good. I'm glad he's going to a good home. Oh, yeah. So I think that's my five, I think. Okay. Right? Okay. Some new people come, that came into the chat, so I want to welcome um, my friend Barbara from South Carolina is here, and Lorianne Sugarbridges came in, Butterfly Nurse. Um, 
And I think Paula, if I didn't speak to you before, welcome and book. Thank you for coming in. And I know those notifications just aren't coming. They aren't coming in very good. Um, Cindy, thank you for coming as well. And just to refresh everybody. Hey, Tracy, thanks for coming. Is that um, I am Beth from Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. And I ship out of Houston and Joanne is from a work in progress. Oh. And she is shipping out of the Raleigh, North Carolina area. Um, and hi, Cher. Thanks for coming. Um, my next item, and we will go um, back through to show you the things if you weren't able to be here at the beginning that did not sell. My next item is a set uh, continuing, I guess, with this boho summer picnic thing that I kind of did. <laughs> I have some wooden napkin rings. They are carved. Oh. Um, they are about two inches tall and they have about a one inch standard opening there, but they do have the carving on both sides. And because I am my great grandmother's family, I have them on a ribbon. <laughs> there are five of them, five of them, and they all are exactly the same. Um, and so for the five wooden napkin rings, they are going to be $9 for all five. That's why I put them on the ribbon. And they are number 64. $9 number 64. Hi, Erin. Erin had a sale today. She had some really good stuff today. Thanks for coming. And let's see. My next is a brooch. We all are bringing back the brooch. This is about a, I think that Dolores has told me that this is when it's one piece of metal cut, that it is from the 50s and 60s, but it is a metal piece. I'll show you the back first. Um, it is cut from one piece of metal and it's layered. And I did show this um, on my Week. but hi pat hall you're not late hi, you're but this is a beautiful oh, wow. daisy brooch and it is larger um it does have the roll class there um and the v class the v bar versus the standard straight across bar but i just thought that that was absolutely beautiful it is that is cool great for summer and it measures about two and a half inches from law from pedal to pedal here so this brooch is going to be twelve dollars and it's going to be number 56 twelve dollars number 56 for the 1950s 60s i think he's telling me daisy brooch that is a really cool piece yes all right I am going to go on to... I think um, I Heart Old Things picked that up for you. Oh, Bryn. Bryn. Yeah. The uh, brooch. That's a good one. Yeah, that's... Thank you, Bryn, for picking that up. Not, that says summer to me. So I've yeah. had... Um, thank you, Erin. I've had a couple of people ask me about these. They are so <laughs> Debram cute. These are the salt and pepper sugars that are little campers, y'all. <laughs> so this is one side of it. They are, they're exactly the same. It has its little um, tire on the back. And then on the other side is the door with it. Um, and then it has the little hitch. They're both the same. So, um, and they're not vintage or anything, but they sure are cute. They are. Have their little stoppers. It's a three and a two hole. And um, I could not get over these salt and pepper shakers. They were they are so cute. Um, from the hitch to the to the um, tire is three and a half inches long. So they're not small. Mm -hmm. And they are about a little over two inches tall. Um, so they're good size salt and pepper shakers, but I thought that was so cute. Just for even a 4th of July or a summer tablescape, that would be yeah. so cute. They are $8, number 74. 
$8, number 74. No chips, no cracks on those, of course, but they are too, too cute. And I thought in the 4th of July display, that would be so cute. Mm -hmm. All right. And I see Michelle Lee for those. Yep. That, mm -hmm. Let's see. Yes, I see Michelle Lee. And Michelle, <laughs> good. I can throw those in with your other items. And so that will be good. Thank you so much, Michelle. All right. I have a box going to Michelle Lee. <laughs> And so good. The next is a postcard um, dated about 19. One of them is 1935 that had a date on it. Um, and this one does not have a date, but they are in the same pack. This is Mackinac Island and it is a color photo. So I think that maybe it said the other one had one uh, 1935, but I don't know with the color um on there but it is not written on or anything at the bottom it says harbor scene from the old fort mackinac island michigan and um this is the back it is a heavier card stock i personally think it's probably older i mean younger than 1935 um but i think one of them may have been 1935 and there was a black and white one in there but this is going to be $4, number 63. $4, number 63 for the Mackinac Island postcard. I still think it's probably 40s, 50s, because the one um, that I saw recently, like of an aerial shot, is a lot different. <laughs> All right. And my last of the five i must go really fast sorry y'all if i'm going to um I'm fast. i go fast if uh, again with the picnic thing i have some texas wear and i believe that would make it melamine melamine is the material they're the green ones these are little dessert or bread plates but you know when you're camping or whatever you don't need a lot and I read up a little bit about this and they use this because it's basically indestructible. So I thought that was pretty cool. It is marked Texas wear on the back. If y'all can see that they are, they are the almost six inch plates. There are five of them in the set. There are no chips, cracks, crazing or anything in any of the five no staining or anything i love the sage green color oh, yeah the color is great um and so all five of these are nine dollars for the set of five number 41. nine dollars number 41. yeah i got to look a little bit i love this color yeah, um, I they're in sale while i was working and listening Day, so all right i think that's my five i did go pretty fast Sorry, it's okay, back. Yeah. um i must have done something wrong because i only have one two three four pieces left so somewhere i messed up along the line but anyhow it's okay yeah it's all good uh, i have a couple of aprons for you this one how pretty is that oh pretty colors isn't it and then look at the side how it i can't get it see how it kind of comes out like that and then it's pleated in the front and then look at the pocket details on this too this i thought this was so pretty no damage to it um let me i want to get the right measurements here uh where are we here we are oh okay um so across the top from here to here is 13 inches. Then the ties are each 20 inches a piece. And then the apron itself is 20 inches long. I just love this. I think this is the sweetest little apron. And this is going to be um, $13 and it is number three. 
So $13, number three, for the vintage uh, purple and green apron, half apron. And I see Crystal D has picked up number three. Oh, thank you, Crystal. That is beautiful. Those pockets are so pretty on that. I know. I thought they were so unusual. And then the next apron. Now, this one does have some staining on it. I'll tell you um, straight up. Uh, I did not try to get the staining out because I am not the world's best laundry person. So I thought I was going to leave it up to the buyer to do that. I didn't want to ruin it. But here is a, a very sheer, this might be what they call the hostess, might right. be because of the sheerness of it. But you can see the pockets there. And that same fabric is used along the scalloped top and then along the edge. And it is pleated. So um, like you can see, there's one of the, whoop, wait, one of the little spots right there. And where was there? I thought there was another. Oh, that might actually be it. Let me double check. And the, the, the uh, ties on this are sheer as well. Is it that, beautiful? Yeah, that might be it. I thought there was more staining on it than that spot right there, but that's a for sure one. Um, and this, let me give the measurements on this one. It is approximately 22 inches long and 17 and a half inches across from here to here. And then the ties are long, they're 27 inches a piece. So it's got some nice long ties on it. And this uh, vintage grum thing is gray and yellow. It's going to be $12 and it is number six. So $12, number six for the gray and yellow and sheer apron. So pretty. I love it. <laughs> and then the next thing has nothing to do with the kitchen at all. It's a little piece of art glass. And it's this little angelfish here. And he is orange and white and clear. And he's in beautiful condition. He doesn't have any chips or cracks or nicks or anything in him. There's no markings on the bottom of him, so I don't know who made him. Uh, let me get you some measurements if I did measure him. Oh, I didn't measure him. Where's my measurer? Let's get you some measurements on them. So he is about three inches tall at his tallest fin here. And then from his little nose to the end of his tail is about three and a quarter. And then he probably maybe an inch and a half at the widest part. There we go. Uh, so the art glass little angelfish swimming out of the picture is six dollars number 19. Six dollars, number nineteen. I don't know if I'm ever going to get used to this camera. I know. <laughs> Six dollars, number nineteen, for the little art glass angelfish. And I see Kathy nicely. Let me refresh. Has oh, thank you, Kathy. Just came in. So welcome, Kathy, and good pick. Yeah. Thank you. All right, we put him aside. And then the last thing in my rounds here, kind of going back to the kitchen, is this piece of milk glass here, jar, lidded jar with the scenery all around it here. Maybe, I'm not sure if this is a couple of areas of wear here or if that is actually how, it, um, you know, the prints looked on it. Um, it does have a mark on the bottom. I have no idea what that marking is. There we go. You folks would probably know because you guys know so much. The lid does have some um, roughness. I'll call it roughness right around here. Um, but other than that, it's super clean. I don't know what it's originally, you know, was uh, put into this jar. And let me see if I took measurements on that. Where is he? Yes, this is uh, four and three quarter inches tall. And I'm asking $6 for that. And it is number 15. There we go. $6, number 15. And it's glass? 
Yeah, it's a milk glass, and then the top of it um, is it's a metal top. So, I mean, I'm guessing it has a little bit of age to it. Right. Um, but again, $6, a number 15. Okay. And that is everything for me. Okay. Um, let me go on to mine, and then we're going to go back through, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you have a couple of things to show that didn't yes. sell? Okay. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. So for my round, um, this is one of my favorite things that I have ever found. Um, I just really liked it. I think it was different. It is a covered, um, I'm going to say a covered plate or a, I guess a cake plate, but it does not on the stand. Um, it has a wooden base. It's so cool. It has the edge here. So, I mean, um, and then it does say that it was made in the Philippines. Now, it does not say that it's monkey pot. Um, it doesn't say what kind of wood it is. Um, it is pretty thick in the center. Here is the made in the Philippines mark. But I loved that it had the grooves in it. And then it has the matching wicker um or straw top and there's no damage to it whatsoever it's got almost like a bamboo handle on that um so i just love this i have gone back and forth as to what to do with it um i have never seen a piece like that that is so cool i mean how even if you took a cake or something yeah um, i kind of did the the little i thought the Texas wear inside of that would be so cute mm -hmm. so, um, to carry. But this little covered tray is what I'm going to call it. Is It's a covered picnic plate is $14 number 80. And that is solid wood on the bottom. It is very unique. I've yeah. looked and looked. I've not found anything that would even go with it. Um, and I'm not sure what kind of wood that is, but there are no cracks in the wood. There's no breaks or chips in the wood whatsoever. I think Lisa might have claimed that. Lisa Carl, number. Um, is that the number 15? Was not it number, number 15? 15. It's number 80. Oh, 80. Dollars. What were you looking at, um, Lisa, for number 15? Did we have a number 15? Oh, don't... that was mine. <laughs> You were you were wanting the black and white, the milk glass she jar might, and stuff. Uh, the milk glass. She is wanting the milk glass. So okay. She lagging. Make All sure right. That you are um in live chat and not top chat, and that you are um, and that you refresh because the lag is pretty. The lag is pretty bad. I will say that. So yeah, she has got you, Lisa. Her milk glass. We got you. Yeah. Lisa. Got that. You know what that piece, Beth, would be good for, too, is taking the cake outside if you have, yeah. a, you know, like a gathering or something to keep the, you know, the bugs off of it. I just thought that it was such a unique piece. It, it really is. And especially to have no damage. Um, there is, you can see yeah. how it's tied and it looks like it's the bamboo that's tied. In yeah. The, and the, the edges around there. And the handle, um, and it's got the little handle tied to that. But this is yeah, a really nice piece. Again, it was fourteen dollars, number eighty. Fourteen dollars, okay. number eighty. All right, ran out of room. I don't know how I do that. They were all on the table a minute ago. Um, the next is something that I just found, and I've already sold one of these once. So I'm going to, I found another one that was exactly the same. I'm going to uh, do that one. So this is another little duck planter. Oh. It's very same duck planter. I was thinking, oh, you know, maybe it was a hobbyist piece or something, but apparently not. <laughs> it does have that thicker base. It just doesn't have any marking whatsoever mm -hmm. on it. So I don't know. Um, it has a great glaze. It has the little feather marks there and the little eye. Um, so, I mean, I thought that was really cute. And you can see in the actual pottery, the little, like, to make the feathers, the design. Yeah. But this duck planter is $10, number 72. It's a, I just did it for exactly what the other one was. Ten dollars, number seventy-two for the. Oh, he's adorable. He needs a new home. Oh gosh, she's so cute. 
All right. Oh, and I think he got one. And Barbara Ridgel, who bought the first duck planter. Oh. <laughs> so well, now, now he has a friend here. Um, she is a family friend from back home, and she oh. had built. Uh, her husband built her a greenhouse out of antique windows, like farm windows. It is absolutely. Wow. So, Babu, that is coming to you. Good job. Good, good pick there. She was probably waiting on it. <laughs> All right. Um, hey, Mom, I just saw you come in. The next is to go along with that. The, the plates and the covered thing is a caddy. Um, and this is a little condiment caddy. And in that, I have two anchor hawking cruet bottles with the stoppers. Now, normally you, um, normally you don't find the stoppers, but they do have their stoppers. I do not have double checking any chips or cracks in the stoppers. They do have the number 55 on this one and 141 on this one. So they are numbered. Um, and then here is the little anchor and the H. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but there's an anchor and an H yep. right here mm -hmm. on the bottom of those. So this set is going to be the two cruet bottles and the caddy. Now, the good thing about the caddy is this piece unscrews and lays flat. So um, I think that you could probably put some salt and peppers or something in this side and then the oil and vinegar. And you just and it does have a, a wooden screw piece in it. Oh. It is grooved. Um, and so here's the caddy. It is wooden. And then the two Pruitt bottles are going to go along with that. And the set is going to be $12, number 61. $12, number 61 for that whole set. And she was waiting on that. All right. I have two more pieces in my round before we go back. I have a piece of ephemera. This is a July 1915 Modern Priscilla magazine. And I'll show you the date first. Can you see that date? Yep. Mm -hmm. um, this is full of beautiful pictures and um, ads. So let me just show you some of the fashion. The lingerie frock. Mm-hmm. This is kind of scandalous for 1917 or 15 rather. It was 10 cents per copy. Wow. Um, it has tons of ads on the side. Now I have several different types of ephemera. This one always has, this particular magazine has the most. Um, but this one has about embroidery. There's a lot of embroidery pieces. I always tell everybody my favorite are the little saucy novels or the little short stories. Um, and this, so it's a woman's magazine. Both of mine were the woman's magazine. This is Billy's Burglar and um, that magazine. But let me show you this little Campbell soup ad. Oh. Look at that. Isn't that cute? It's a little Campbell soup ad. He's ringing the Liberty Bell. And all throughout this magazine, there are tips and tricks for women and all the different um, types of, look at all these beautiful ads, the Royal Society. And they would be great. I've had a couple of people buy them and cut out the ads and hang them up. But the actual people that are in there, um, and they frame the ad. There's Eagle Brand Milk for Better Babies. Uh, let's see. The Eagle Condensed Milk. But I love all of the ads. Now, in this, there are 16 double-sided pages. So it is a full magazine. Um, 
and here's a baby wardrobe but this this is perfect for junk journaling or if you want to um if you wanted to cut it up i don't know um and use it for junk journaling or something else it this one has the coca-cola ad in it oh. right here but just a lot of beautiful ephemera in there um where's the other one that i liked oh this one has everyday housekeeping afternoon tea a growing custom in this country oh <laughs> this is the quaker oats i love this little girl i like the kids pictures in my ads so um lots of recipes in here um this is one of the one of my favorites because it has a woman's daily schedule oh so gosh wash in half mm -hmm. um it's it's so, you know, what you need to do first and then but it, it's a really great magazine and again there are lots of pages in here it is going to be ten dollars number 58 Ten dollars, number fifty-eight for the nineteen fifteen, and this is a modern Priscilla magazine. Yes, old ephemera, love it. Hey, Catherine, and it is going to Catherine. Thanks, Catherine. Yay! And Catherine, I can send this media mail for you. All right. Um, the last thing that I have is a strawberry item. Everybody looks forward to the strawberry items. And this is one of the older, it's not like made in Japan or Taiwan. This is a China one, but it is older. And it has the complete recipe for strawberry pie. And I thought that would go great with our little picnic. So this is, it does have the pinch pieces on there. It tells you um, how to make it. And it has the complete, it's big. It is 10 inches in diameter and stands one and about one and three quarter inches close to that. It is going to be $8 for the pie plate number 45. $8 number 45 for the pie plate. All right. Whew. So, are you wanting? Are you ready to? I am. Yep. Okay. Yep. It turns out I've got five uh, items left. So these are things that I offered earlier in the sale that just didn't sell. So we're going to offer them up again. Okay. So first is going to be this little uh, hound dog. I think he's. I'm guessing he's a basset. He's some kind of hound with these big old long ears, and it's an Avon piece. Uh, brown. His body is glass. His head is plastic. And he is still full of whatever perfume it was that he carried. Uh, and he is about uh, three and a quarter inches tall. He's going to be $8, number 21. So $8, number 21 for the little Avon. Whoop, there he is. The little Avon hound. And another item that I have is a, ro a vintage Rosetti uh, lemon dish, hand-painted. There is the stamp on the back of it. It's about six inches in diameter. Uh, no chips, no paint loss, no crazing. However, there was one area right here. You can't see it, but you can feel it. But it's a little bit rough, and I'm really not sure why that is. But other than that, um, it's in perfect condition. Uh, let me see. And that is $10, number two. $10, number two, for the Rosetti hand-painted lemon dish, and it is from Japan. I love the flowers on that. Yeah, it's a really pretty piece. And then, let's see. I have this little woven basket that I showed in my haul video yesterday. It's a rather kind of muted orange color, I would say. 
Um, I don't know who or where it comes from, um, but it's beautifully done. And I particularly love the bead work that's around the top of it, um, completely intact. There are no missing beads whatsoever on that. And let me see, let me get you the measurements on it. Um, four inches in diameter and about two inches tall. And it's quite sturdy too. And that is $8 and it is number 20. So $8, number 20 for the beaded woven basket in perfect condition. Uh, another item that I have is this little willow tree. And he says, congrats on his balloon. And there he is right there. So I thought this would be great for um, anything you want to congratulate for, maybe a new baby or graduation, um, just about anything. And the little guy himself stands about um, three and a half inches tall. And then the balloon is about three and a quarter inches. And this little willow tree is going to be $10, number 27. And $10, I, number 27. And I see Leanne picked up number 20. Number 20. Oh, that's the basket. Great, Leanne. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me mark you down for that. The lag is really long. And Michelle Lee has picked up oh. number 27, the little okay. bit green. Let me, number 27. Oh, the willow tree, wonderful. Okay, Michelle, thank you. Let me jot you down for that one too. Thank you both. And then the last thing that I have to show you to going through some things that didn't sell originally is this vintage apron. And as you can see, it is a sheer pleated apron with a gray and white pattern scalloped on the top of it and then on the top of the pockets and then on the hem as well. Uh, this one does have one mark in it, right? right about there, right there. I did not try to get it out because as I said earlier, I am not the best with laundry. I didn't want to damage it, potentially damage it. Uh, so this, and it's a, it's a nice size apron as well. It's about 17 and a half inches across here. And then it's 22 inches long. And then each of the sheer ties is 27 inches. So it's a nice size. And this is going to be $12, number six. So $12, number six for the vintage yellow and gray uh, apron. So that is it for me. All right. Now the lag is pretty long. I was doing a count and oh, it is okay. So I'll keep watching the chat for you. Okay, quickly to go back through um, some of the items that I have left is I have a set of 50. Somehow, again, my my whole grouping was about boho summer picnic. I don't know how that happened, but I have some of the little paper coasters. They do say howdy on those. They are four by four. They are just the little, the thicker paper ones. Um, and there are 50 in this set. And they are $5 for the set of 50 Howdy coasters. And they are number 49. 49, $5 for the Howdy coasters. Um, the Pennsylvania Dutch cookbook, 1960. I really got it for the graphic because they've got some beautiful graphics on the front as well as different graphics on the back, which would be so pretty in a kitchen with all those summer colors to display. It is a 1960s cookbook. 
great recipes in that. It you is know it. 68 pages and it is seven dollars number 68. Seven dollars number 68. Okay. And I had the new inbox. I have the box for it. And um, it is a condiment set that comes with the spoons. So it has both spoons, got the little lid, and it comes with the original spoons with the wooden handle. And this little condiment set was $12, number 75. $12, number 75. All right. And I had the necklace and earring set, the jewelry. It was 15 inches long. Let me show you the beading up front. I love, let me see if I can get it to show you. But see those like earth tones there? It is turquoise. There's some turquoise and wooden stones with a wooden piece there at the bottom. It is longer. Let me get the white paper so you can see it. It is very, very pretty. But it is longer, um, 15 inches long, and it does have that piece that does the extension on the back. And it comes with the matching earrings that have the, the turquoise piece along with the little bling piece there. These are dangles that are about, an, uh, I think they are. About an inch and a half, I think you yeah, said. Yeah, about an inch and a half dangles. So they're really pretty. So the set is $14, number 46 for the earrings and the necklace. $14, number 46 for the earrings and the necklace. And I had the metal charger plate that would be great for um, putting, you know, taking things in and out for outside or just decorations, beautiful, vibrant colors yeah. with the butterflies and the, I think I just took myself out of the chat. Uh, butterflies and the fruits on there, different butterflies and fruit around there with a little bit of gold and the teal in there. It is from the Metropolitan Museum of Art and it was six dollars. It is metal number 54. Six dollars number 54 for the charger. And I just have one of these left the rest of them sold all right and what else did i have oh the wooden napkin rings there is a set of five they are carved here this piece is carved and it's on both sides and this piece is carved it's not painted it is carved it is wooden they are lacquered on there. There is a set of five. And it is $9 number 64. $9 for the set number 64. Um, the Mackinac postcard. It is in color. It has not been written on. The Mackinac Island postcard. It is $4.00. Number 63, $4, number 63 for the Mackinac postcard. Uh, just a couple more things were the set of five. Uh, I guess these are sage, avocado, green, maybe. They're Texas Wear plates. They are six inch, did I say? Let me check again. Yeah, they're so six inch either bread or dessert plate, but there's a set of five in perfect condition. They are $9, $9 for the set of five, number 41. And the wooden tray, that, that surprises me. 
the wooden oh, cover, yeah. the covered picnic plate that is wooden on the bottom. Now it's not marked monkey pod wood, so I can't say that it's monkey pod wood, um, but it does have the made in Philippines sticker right here. The plate alone is great cheese tray or fruit. I think that would be beautiful with, with grapes and cheese on that. Mm -hmm. And then it does come with the straw and bamboo lid that goes with it. That was $14, number 80. $14, number 80. Uh, the strawberry pie plate. Oh, yeah. The strawberry pie plate that is, did I measure it the first time? I don't remember. It, Michelle Lee, I see you for picking up number 80. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yep. Thank you. Uh, the strawberry pie plate is 10 inches. Um, and it is almost a little over one and a half inches deep. But it has the recipe on that. And it is a stoneware, a glazed stoneware. And it does say that you would, um, I think you bake it in here. Because I was reading that and I thought, oh, I probably wouldn't have baked the crust first. But yeah, you got to. But the straw plate is strawberry pie plate, $8, number 45. $8, number 45, for the stoneware strawberry pie plate. And I have Michelle for the covered picker. Yay. I'm glad that found a home. That's so cool. Yeah, it is really cool. And then the last thing was the anchor hawking cruet with the cat with the caddy. This the two cruet bottles with their stoppers and the number 41. 41? What was that? Oh, the Texas wear plates. Oh, good. Oh, cool. Those are, that's such a pretty color. Thank you. Um, it is winter 1299. So winter 1299. Thank you so much for watching and coming. You are new to me. So please make sure that you send me your first and last name as everyone who is purchasing tonight, um, your first and last name, your email at your PayPal email address and your complete mailing address with your zip code to this email. Mine is scprincess1 at comcast.net. Um, so just make sure that I get that information so I can get it packaged up and sent to you. But the little caddy, um, in itself, it has the wooden threaded knob there. And then I have added the Hazel Atlas cruet bottles to that for oil and vinegar. That set was $12, number 61. $12, number 61. And I'm so glad to see we have new people. Yeah. Thanks for coming. So I'm going to put that, um, put winter's name on that and i think that's it y'all was there anything anyone had any questions about or anything that you wanted to see again from me or from joanne if you both of let me put joanne back up here there i am so um, if you have any questions or if you get to thinking about something and want to know if it's still available, please make sure that you email us and we can let you know if it's still available or if you want to talk to us about a price. I have people that um, contact me after the sale and say, hey, you know, let's talk about an item. And if I can, we, we can definitely talk about a price and get it to you. Um, and I will be, if you send me your email, your information, first and last name, um, PayPal email, and complete mailing address to this email for me and for Joanne. Hers is, wait, I think it's that way. <laughs> I don't know. The only way I know it's not this way or that way. <laughs> um, so if you point down, Joanne, 
That's your email address. That's me. <laughs> Joanne is J M O Z G O at yahoo.com. So that you send, if you claim something from Joanne, you send her your information at that email. If you claim something from me and we will, um, we'd like to have that information as soon as the sale is over that way that we can start gathering your items and grouping them and get them packaged up and get you that as soon as possible. Okay. So if there's nothing else, I want to say thanks Joanne for agreeing to do another sale with me. Thank you for the invite. Yeah. We, we have a good time when we do our little yeah, I think so. And it looks like other people do too. So that's great. Make sure if you are just coming in that you, before you leave, give us a thumbs up on um, the live sale video here. Make sure that you check out Joanne's channel. If you're not subscribed, please do so, as well as my channel. We both have the next step goals for ourselves, for subscribers, um, and watch hours. So, you know, we're always growing. So thanks so much, y'all, for coming. And as I always say, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. And Joanne always reminds people to take good care of yourselves. And thank you, everyone, for joining. Thanks, y'all. Have a good night. Bye -bye. Night. Bye, everybody.